Hey everyone, this is Aaron with DIY Home Repair. Today I'm going to go over how to set up and use the Ryobi Wood Metal Door Lock Installation Kit. So I picked up this kit a few years ago at Home Depot. Um, it was 20 25 bucks, so really not too bad. Um, it comes with pretty much everything else, everything that you would need to actually cut out the door latch or the door hole, um, which is definitely nice. Now, that does include the drill or any of the hardware you need, um, but pretty much everything else, which is a nice benefit. Um, there's a couple things that I found that could have probably been explained a little bit better in the directions, um, and I'm definitely going to go over that stuff with you. Uh, but otherwise, I thought the product was pretty solid. Um, it actually worked pretty well for what I needed it to. Um, so today what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over everything that comes with the kit. I'm going to go over how to set up and use it and how to adjust for the different door depths and the different widths. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a cut and we'll go from there. So let's get started. Alright, so the kit comes with a total of eight pieces. Um, you've got your door latch bracket here. Um, you've got your two bimetal hole saws. Uh, you got a one inch and a two and an eighth inch. Um, you've got your one inch spade bit, and this is not the one that comes in the kit. I did replace that. Um, and then you've got two drill bits here. You've got three thirty seconds and one eighth inch. Uh, and then you also got a double ended screwdriver bit. And of course, you have your arbor bit for the hole saws. So there's really only a couple of adjustments you can make on this thing. Uh, one is your uh, location for your hole here um, or your handle. Um, and you could adjust that to either two and three eighths or two and three quarters. So all you can do is push in on that, adjust that back. Um, the other one is the thickness of the door, um, really right there. That's your thickness. Um, so the other thing that's important to note is when you adjust this for the thickness, <clears throat> there's two little screw holes right here, and you need to put you need to screw this down so that it tightens this piece up. If you don't, you're gonna to have to find a way to hold that down with a clamp or something. Um, so at this point, you're just gonna, once you find your location, you're gonna put two screws in there and it'll clamp down. <clears throat> now, the other thing that's important to note here is the auto strike locator. The locator is designed to help you line up the door latch with the strike plate on the jam. So if the strike plate is already in position on the jam, the locator will catch on the strike plates once it's lined up. If the strike plate is not already in place, you can easily mark out the location for the new strike plate based on where the door latch is located. So here's a view from the other side. And as you can see, the locator will catch in place once the door is lined up, assuming of course the strike plate's already cut. If it's not, you can easily mark out the location for the new strike plate based on where you set the latch. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this started here. I'll set this to two and three eighths here. Now I'm just gonna find my spot here. Okay. So what you don't see here is that I took my 1 8 inch drill bit and I drilled all the way through the center of the hole and back out the other side of the door. This way I had a good place to start my hole saw when I start cutting from the other side.
Okay, so one thing I've gotten a lot of questions on is how to remove the pilot from the whole saw once it's all done after it's locked itself in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you a quick trick uh, to get that done. So let's go ahead and remove this. Remove our bit here. And I'm going to switch over to my impact driver here. <clears throat> now, you're going to want to find a nut driver that actually fits onto this thing and tightens on here. So then we'll take our impact driver. We'll just put that in here. And then really all you got to do is stick that there, hold the end here, and it will come right off. It may take a second, but it will come right off. All right, if you found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you get alerted as soon as the newest videos come out.